there is no rest for the wicked. Microsoft has just dropped Fire 4 Mini Instruct model and this model already seems to be one of the best model to date from Microsoft when it comes to text generation. In this video we are going to install it locally and then we will test it out on various benchmarks thoroughly. This is Fahad Meza and I welcome you to the channel. I have been covering not only Microsoft's model for a long time but almost every other model under the sun. If you are interested in these models, especially the Fire family of models, you can just search on the channel and you should be able to find heaps of videos around it. So now let's check it out. What exactly is this new model from Microsoft? It is a 3.8 billion parameter model and a dense decoder only transformer featuring a grouped query attention. It has got 200,000 vocabulary and shared input output embeddings designed for speed and efficiency. Don't worry, let me explain these terms in simple language. So first I said, that this model has 3.8 billion parameter. So it means that this model has approximately 3.8 billion adjustable parameters which are used to make predictions or decisions or basically the text generation. Then I said this model is a dense decoder only transformer. This describes the model's architecture which is based on transformer design. Decoder only means that it only uses the decoder part of the transformer, not the encoder. And transformer is simply a type of AI model or neural network known for its efficiency in handling sequential data. Then I said that it uses grouped query attention. This refers to a specific type of attention mechanism used in the model. Attention mechanism allows the model to focus on specific parts of the input data when make making predictions. And grouped query means that the model groups multiple queries together when computing attention weights. Vocabulary is 200,000, which means that the model is trained on a data set with a vocabulary size of approximately 200,000 unique tokens. And token could be a word or a character. And lastly, we said that it has got shared input output embedding. This means that the model uses the same embedding weights for both input and output tokens and embeddings are a way to represent token as a numerical vector. So now you know what exactly this model is, but despite uh, its compact size, this model continues to outperform larger models as you can see in this benchmark, which include reasoning, math, coding, instruction following and function calling. The context length or its support sequences up to 128,000, which means that its context length is quite big. It also delivers high accuracy and scalability. So you can see that it it is competing with even larger models as per this graph on various benchmarks. Now, uh, I'm not going to go into further detail around benchmark. You can read it on the model card, which I will share in the video description. Let's try to get it installed. So I'm using this Ubuntu 22.04 and this is my GPU card and VDRTXA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM. And I'm creating the virtual env environment while it gets created. Let me also give a huge thanks to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you're looking to rent a GPU on very affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Plus, I'm also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on a range of GPUs. Let's go back to our terminal and wait for this to get created. And as this model was just launched, so we need to install specific packages. So in this case, we first need to install the CUDA and flash attention. So I'm just installing it with the pip commands, as you can see, and we have to get this 2.7.4.post1 flash attention for it. So let's wait for it to get installed. Now let's install the torch and transformers. Make sure that you install this torch 2.6 and also um, install the transformer from the source. And now let me launch my Jupyter Notebook. Let's first download the model. You can see that I'm downloading this Fire 4 Mini Instruct. And the model is being downloaded. 
there are two shards of it and one curious thing here you might have noticed that i am also putting in manual seed and that is zero so the reason why we are using manual seed here is that in pytorch by default many operations involve randomness such as initializing the model weights or shuffling data and by default pytorch uses a random seed that is generated based on the system time so which means that every time you run your code you will get different results due to, due to the different random seeds and that is why we are putting in a fixed seed so that the result should be predictable okay so while it downloads a model let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are our very good friends at camel ai camel ai is an open source community focused on building multi-agent infrastructures for finding the scaling laws of agents with applications in data generation task automation and world simulation simulation and i will drop the link to their website in video's description okay let's go back and see what is happening it is still downloading it size of the model is not that big maybe around i would say 7 gig or so maybe somewhere over 7 so the model is downloaded let's do the inference so this is a chat template for the five very familiar one so we are just using this text prompt and then we are creating this chat template we are we are encoding it through tokenizer we are generating the output on the basis of these hyper parameters and then we are decoding it back and printing the result so first up i'm going to ask it if ai is going to do all the creative work what would humans do except creating more babies let's see what it says and there you go it has returned us the response let's check it out it says if ai were to take over creative works human would likely shift their focus to other areas and activities and there are some possibilities innovation and problem solving human-centric design art and culture social and emotional work exploration pretty good you see very very thorough answer education and mentorship and all that stuff in summary, while AI may take over some creative work, humans have a wide range of other activities and pursuits that they can focus on both individually and collectively. And if you might have noticed, it has very conveniently ignored my last bit. Okay, but very good answer, I would say. Very professional too. Okay, next up, I'm asking it, give me a short comedy routine about being a tourist in Sydney, Australia. Make sure the routine is not lame. Let's run it. And also let's check the VRAM consumption and it is consuming just touch over 15 gig of VRAM which for a 3.8 billion parameter seems on the higher side but maybe due to the context length okay so let's see what it does let's wait for it okay let's check out the response here so it says ladies and gentlemen gather round for a tale of woe and wonder tourist in sydney <clears throat> fresh off the boat a fresh face tourist with a map that looked more like a treasure hunt i had just landed in sydney and i was ready to conquer the city so sydney opera house bondi beach and the great Barrier reef uh okay so now this one is not correct i mean great Barrier reef is at least i would say uh, if I'm not wrong, maybe 2,000 kilometers away or maybe 1,500, somewhere around that from Sydney. First stop, the Sydney Opera House, Bondi Beach. Finally, I decided to visit Great, Great Barry Reef. So I packed my snorkel and mask and off I went as, as I swam through the crystal clear water. So, yeah, so I think this was a mistake. So last one is not good. Other than that, uh, <clears throat> sorry, other than that, it was quite, I would say, spot on, but last one is not good but i think i would say that this is not a good answer because it missed great Barry Reef, which is which should be the very very obvious uh, stuff okay next up i am going to do another question which is a multiple choice question so i'm asking it imagine standing at the equator of the earth walk in any direction in a straight line and now turn 90 degree have you walked and then i'm giving it four choices the correct answer is the third one let's see if it got it right or not there you go so answer is totally correct here that's good okay so language seems quite good to me and reasoning is also okay but let's check few more 
Okay, next up I am asking the model. I have got a vintage desktop from the 90s with a Pentium 3 processor and 128 MB RAM. I want to use it to run the most advanced AI models such as 7000 billion parameter model 569, but I am not willing to upgrade any of the hardware. How can I optimize my code to achieve incredible performance? Don't give me other options, just tell me how to run it on this Pentium. Model is thinking. There you go, so model has come back. It says running a highly advanced AI models like this, which has this many parameters on vintage desktop, is an extremely challenging task. But there are some strategies, okay? Let's hear them. Model pruning, pruning and quantization, that's a good one. Distillation, efficient model architecture. Okay, so it is giving me other models. Optimized libraries, code optimization, use of C++, parallel processing. Some of them make sense, but others are just plain stupid. But I think model has at least tried and followed the instructions, which is quite good. And now let's try out one of our favorite questions here. And you guessed it right. So here I am asking it, whenever I mow my lawn in my backyard, my neighbor's stunning 27-year-old who recently got divorced by her seventh partner starts jumping on trampoline in bikini. And whenever she goes up, she winks at me. What should I do as I'm loving this too? These days I'm mowing my lawn two times a day and now grass is almost gone and it's hard to mow the dirt. Let's see what model says here. And the model is, has come back. Let's check it out. So model says it sounds like you're experiencing a unique and somewhat amusing situation. So it understands the situation. It says enjoy the moment. That's my model. If you genuinely enjoy the neighbor's trampoline antics, you might want to continue enjoying the moment. However, it's important to consider the broader context. Communicate, respect privacy, consider the impact on your lawn. That's a good one. Focus on your own well-being. That's true. Remember, it's important to strike a balance between enjoying the positive aspects and maintaining your own well-being and responsibilities. It's a very, very responsible answer, I would say. Okay, let's try out the multilinguality. Let me paste it here and run it. So here I'm asking it to translate I love you in various languages from almost every part of the region. And if there is any language you want me to put it in, feel free to put it in the comments. Happy to try it out. There you go. So let's check it out and feel free to also let me know uh, if any of the language is wrong here. I'm just uh, taking the clues from Google uh, Translator. So you see, I think that Brazilian, Portuguese, Czech, Arabic, and these they're good, Swahili good, Chinese good, Persian, Japanese. I'm not sure about Japanese because other models give me something different. German good, Indonesian good, Spanish good. Uh, Urdu doesn't look good. Oh yeah, Ur Urdu is, I don't think so, Urdu is good enough. And then randomly it has gone with French. So other than Urdu, I think rest of them look quite uh, good um, maybe a little bit mistakes in the Hindi but other than that looks good I can't read this one but this one looks okay okay next up let's check out its math capability so I'm just asking you to solve this differential equation and it has come back with the response let me quickly go down and if you look at it it is solving it step by step which is quite good and I'm just, I have the answer already. So let me quickly compare it. Yes, spot on, correct answer. So this is good stuff. So math also looks quite good. So language, math, reasoning, logic, so far so good. And then let's try out a coding one. So in the coding one, I'm just asking you to implement this C++ code, which implements an um, N queen problem, which is quite a famous one. So let's see how it goes with the coding. And there you go, it has come back and let me quickly check. It is telling us what exactly it is trying to do. And then this is a C++. It is including all the libraries using the namespace, defining the classes. So looks quite good object oriented stuff here. And it is constructors are there and main function it is calling it. And then it is also telling us to how to run this program from the quick look. The program looks spot on as I have run this a lot of times, uh, this prompt. So look, I believe coding, math, language, reasoning, logic, multilinguality, they are spot on. There are few mistakes, but remember the size of the model. This is just a mini model. So I believe 
quite an extraordinary model. Try it out. And one more important thing is that they also have released another, I believe, multi-modal one. So stay tuned. I will be also sharing the video about it shortly and we will also check it out. So I hope that you are enjoying this. Uh, if you like the content, please like the video, share it and subscribe to the channel. And that would be a huge favor for me. Thank you very much.